with DeLorean Nation here. In today's video, we're headed up to Madison, Wisconsin. We're gonna go check out a car there for possible purchase. This is kind of the opposite of the last barn find video where this is a car that the Midwest shop has serviced all the way back to 2015. It's been in the same family since new, which is a really cool story on this car. Um, and I know it has very nice original cosmetics on a lot of the car. I feel I know this car pretty well. So we're going to drive up, we're going to look it over, and as long as everything checks out, we'll most likely come home with this. Uh, we got the truck and trailer hitched up. We're just filling some tires and making sure we're topped off there, and we're going to hit the road soon, so come along with us. We're in the good old Wisconsin. We got a couple of fibs from Illinois. That's right, we know what you Wisconsin's call us Illinoisans. Your favorite Illinois buyers are headed up into Wisconsin to grab another DeLorean and bring it to Illinois. You can't hate on a guy for loving himself some stainless. This car up in Madison, right around the corner from Kevin, so we're gonna stop and grab him while we're in the area. Hey there. Hey, what's up guys? Good. Ready to go uh, go DeLorean hunting? Yeah, we got Leo with us today. Uh, what's up, Leo? Not much. Not much. <laughs> Leo with us so, today, so that's cool. So Leo is the CEO. <laughs> 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 you guys watch our one of our very first DeLorean Nation videos. Leo was uh, listed as the CEO. He doesn't want to be CEO, L-E-O, <laughs> but I'm like, too late. It's it's already uh, it's already been established. So what are we uh, what are we up to today, guys? Uh, so we're heading over to pick up a, a car, uh, one that we've been servicing for quite a while. Uh, a gentleman's name is Randy. So we're about six miles from picking up the car. And when we get there, we'll take you around it and show you the car. Probably going to get in and go for a quick drive and, uh, you know, look underneath and check this thing out. So uh, look forward to that when we get there. Yeah, and this is a uh, a black automatic, I believe, right? Black interior automatic car. Yep, if I remember correctly. I worked on this car at the shop uh, a couple of years ago. Um, it was in for just some service, and, and I remember it very well um, from from working on it. But I haven't seen it for a while, up to this point. So um, I, I want to say we've done at least four service tickets on this since 2015. So we've seen this every year or two uh, pretty regularly. So it should be a pretty well maintained ready to go car yeah and this is a uh, randy is a uh, is the original owner his father-in-law was actually the original owner of this car so it's been in, in his family since since it was new so this is a uh, that's kind of some really cool family history there yeah that's rare to to know the car from the from new and and randy and his family does so that's pretty neat what the no turn no turn on red from left lane oh what no turn on there, you got an arrow you're good Gosh, what Illinois. Is your... These Illinois drivers in Wisconsin trying to go, trying to make a right turn <laughs> from the left lane with a trailer, nonetheless. Come on. Man, this is in Chicago up here, buddy. <laughs> <It's pretty bad. laughs> so anyways, we're uh, we're almost over to Randy's house now. And, and Randy, uh, he's been on the fence about selling this car for, for quite a while. Uh, he's just kind of reached a point in his life where he can't get in and out of it very well. And he's he's thinking he's going to switch to something that's easier for him to to drive he's, um, got, he's got an itch for a 911 you can say it. he does okay he's switching to a porsche <laughs> yeah what are, you, what are we gonna do um <laughs> getting a 911 um and that's okay you know yeah. uh he's the delorean's been in his family for for a long time as we mentioned and uh you know his brother-in-law was was on the fence maybe about buying it and, and keeping it in the family but ultimately de they decided not to uh and they gave us a call to, to come and get it so uh we're looking forward to this So, Randy, I also wanted, because I know there is an interesting family history with this car, would you be able to tell us a bit of that? My father-in-law bought this car brand new off the dealership floor, Shepard Chevrolet in Lake Bluff, Illinois. Okay, they were near us. They were the big distributor. Yeah. They were the bigger he, dealer. Uh, it was, by his own admission, his midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one of those. Yeah, he's, he saw DeLorean and said, i got to have it. And yeah. he had the financial wherewithal just almost to make a snap decision. And yeah. At the time, he had a big uh, 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 Cadillac. Okay. And I remember I drove down with him in the Cadillac to get the car so he okay. could drive the DeLorean back home. Wow, okay. So I'm, you know, driving this 
big boat. Right. And we get down there, and he disappears into the dealership, and I'm just walking around for like 90 minutes, and yeah. he comes back out and said, I own the DeLorean. So you, you were there the day he got it, I too. I was there wow. the day he that's, got it. Wow, that's pretty cool. So this car has never left the family yeah. since the day it left the dealership. My father-in-law had it, and like a lot of people, he basically said, okay, been there, done that, got that out of my system. Mm-hmm. And that was about six or seven years into ownership. And then he had the dealership, and I don't know what they did. He had the dealership, quote unquote, prep it for long-term storage. And he took the car and he put it in his mother's garage, who wasn't driving anymore and had like a totally vacant four-car garage. He tucked it in the corner. He threw about a dozen flannel blankets over it, and it sat okay. for like seven, eight years. And fine. And of course, every once in a while, I'd say to him, you know, this is not good for the car. I don't care mm-hmm. how well you prepped it for storage. The car is meant to be driven. And so at one point, he just came up to me and said, let's let's talk about this change of ownership. And mm-hmm. I'll work you out a fair price. And if you don't think it should be sitting there, then you buy it from me and it's yours. So I've had it ever since. So that okay. car yeah. has, I've just never, figuratively, it's never left my sight in 40 years. It's either been in his garage or my garage. Right. For that whole time. The whole time. And what's yeah. the mileage on it now? Just over 17,000. over 17,000 miles in yeah. 40 plus years. Exactly. Wow, yeah, fantastic. and everything on the car is original, except for the wear and tear parts. Mm-hmm. We've put new tires on. we replaced the battery. we changed some belts and some hoses. we put new fuel lines on, a lot of filters. But, I mean, other than that, other than wear and tear parts, the car is 100% yeah. original. Right. Yeah. So fantastic. And you have, you have, and I've seen and gone through some of your paperwork, and you've You've had an extensive amount of up- yeah. updates, uh, yeah. maintenance, yeah. maintenance stuff. Yeah. 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 When yeah. I first took over, well, probably a few years after I took over the ownership of it, I got a hold of Dave, mm-hmm. and I said, "Would you just first things first, just do it a bumper to bumper evaluation of the car, and tell me what this car needs?" I said, "I'm familiar with it, but not mechanically." Mm-hmm. And he did a bumper to bumper, pretty comp- a comprehensive. Um, an to-do list. Yeah. You know, yep. If I were you, this is what I would do. Yeah. And you were part of that to some For extent. Sure. Yep. Yep. And then uh, he got back to me and he says, okay, here's what we've seen. Here's what we found. And I've highlighted kind of the worst first. Mm-hmm. If nothing else happens. Make sure that you do this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, let's just start chipping away at this list and make sure that we get the most important stuff done, whether it's safety or this or that or whatever. So that's pretty much how we put the whole thing together. Yep. And over the years, every time I bring it in, um, we kind of go look at that list and you kind of come back and give me a recommendation and say, okay, here's your budget. Here's the list. Why don't we crack off these six or seven things mm-hmm. this time around? Yep. So that's cool. basically what we did. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look at, uh, sure. at the DeLorean. What, what's, the, what's the VIN on this one, Randy? So this is a 1983. I'm going to come in here and grab the VIN. This is Ellie 17014. And like Kevin mentioned earlier, it's a black interior automatic. A really nice looking car. And we're going to get this backed out of here. Uh, hopefully it starts right up and then we'll go around it with you. So like I said, we're kind of familiar with this, but uh, we'll take you around it. It's just a very nice looking original car, especially as far as the cosmetics on this. Um, nice looking wheels. Interior, I know we did a headliner on it. Um, but the rest of this is pretty original and in nice cosmetic condition. Yeah, and the headliner for being replaced, it looks fantastic. So it's nice just and the, flat, no wrinkles. Yeah. This interior in this thing is just spotless. And Randy just had this car detailed for the sale um, here locally in Madison by Buck's Legend uh, Detailing. And I've known Buck for a long time, and he does fantastic work. And I have to say, in person, this car is just absolutely spotless. 
and that's all in good shape in the back here. No cracks in the seats. No cracks in the dash. Got the ASI radio in this one. No cracks in the binnacle. And our odometer is showing just over 17,000 miles. 17054. Stainless looks to be in good shape. Um, I already took a peek at the fascia paint, and uh, that seems really nice. And that's I can tell just by looking at it, that's original paint. So the car's just never been neglected and always stored properly, and it's nice to hear Randy's, you know, history with this car. So. We can hear it right from the horse's mouth and how this thing has been cared for. Still on stock suspension. As you can see, the wheel gap in the front, so we know that that's original. I'm looking for a ding or a dent anywhere in the stainless, and I don't see any. No, the stainless is spotless. And then same thing in the rear. you got a nice-looking rear uh, paint, original paint on that fascia. And we do have the plate bezel, it's just not on the car at this point. Yeah, I think he said that's laying inside of it. Let's take a look at the all-important frame. Oh, it's an undercoated 83, so that's kind of correct for the, the VIN. A lot of the 83s got an undercoating sprayed on them. But it does really help protect the, the frame as well, so it can be good. Look, this magic back here too, so it's pretty clean. Yeah, looks really good back here. See the fuel lines have been changed. It's got a stainless header on it. Do you guys get pan up here, Kevin? Even the engine cover decals have been redone because those always turn yellow and get wrinkled. And the jump start on the coil cover there. So attention to detail. Looks like a new airbox logo as well. So yep, we have all new uh, hoses back here, new belts back here. It does have the typical 80s Chapman alarm system that we see these things a lot. That was the thing to do back in the 80s. That um, came, but that can uh, that came directly from the dealer. Did it? That was installed. Oh, okay. You see the decals in the windows if yeah. you didn't see there's some in the side glass and I think maybe the front windshield. Yep, that is right here. But uh, dealer installed, huh? That's cool. Even look at how black this louver is. The color on that's still a yeah, deep you can tell nice deep black. Not, has not been out in the sun much. Yeah. But yeah, the stainless is just, just just fantastic and you guys can see it on the video here. You can actually tell this is still factory green. The light's not right for you to see it on the video, but you can see a little bit of the corduroy in the in the steel. Uh, and that indicates factory factory green, so this has not been reworked. Not a lot to see there, but a nice clean trunk area. I'm gonna stick my head underneath the front end and see what we got going on over here. Yep. Again, uh, undercoated frame, but all looks nice and clean. And uh, nothing to worry about there. We're going to take a quick peek at the roof cage. So right in here behind this torsion bar, this flat edge here, and then up where it comes vertical, that all looks really good and clean. There's just some dirt in there, but uh, I don't see any brown whatsoever. We can go around to the other side and pan there too. Same thing here. I see just a bunch of black. You really, no, you no really don't find them looking a whole lot better than that. Yeah, that, completely honest. That looks unless, they, unless the roof box has been redone, but that that's about as clean as it gets. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Little door sill here will have to get replaced, but you no know, little stuff doesn't bother me at all. 
Just that one little spot. Otherwise, these door seals actually look really, really good. Yeah. And that's pretty typical from Deter right there. Yeah, that's an that's most likely an original seal too. All right, just going to take a quick look at the relay compartment. The relay update kit has been installed on this car as well, including the jumpers for the fan fail. Uh, fuse box looks really, really good. All the fuses in there. Very, very clean back here. Two circuit breakers. So the other thing on the 83 is they had two-tone interiors, and basically what that meant is it had black leather, uh, black dash, black console, black seats. Uh, and gray carpets. And all the carpets were gray, but the black interior should have had a darker, like, charcoal gray. And where you can really see where it gets obvious and looks a little funny is where this gray vinyl goes into the black armrest extension. And so you have the change in color here um, where it's, you know, gray carpets and black interior. And also what I've noticed is the large lettering on the mats. Uh, that was, you don't see that very often, but these were dealer mats. Most of them had the small lettering, but uh, this has the large lettering. Let's uh, let's take it for a spin. All right, see how it handles. I believe my son is collateral. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go for a short drive here. Yep, take this thing around the block and just make sure everything's functioning as it should. Since we haven't driven this one for quite a while, or you haven't driven this one for quite a while. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, like I said, this one's pretty much a known vehicle, but we should just do a quick check it over. Brakes feel great on this. Steering feels nice and light, actually. A little bit of brake noise, but nothing I'm worried about. I'm gonna make sure we got all three gears. That's first. Second. Third, nice soft shifts. It's really good. Down shifts well, back into second. So we got plenty of oil pressure. It looks like our fuel gauge is working. Tack is working. Voltage looks good. And the temp is just warming up like we should expect. Looks like the... Uh, the radio is not turning on, but I'm betting that's a blown fuse Probably behind. Fuse. So there's a few things, you know, we can expect to do. But all in all, I think this car is 99% there. And uh, what do you think, Kevin? I, I've always been a big fan of this car. Um, yeah. Well, Mike, what do you think? Well, I think there's only one thing left to do. We got to see what the uh, CEO thinks. What do you think, CEO, LEO? Think we should get it? <laughs> <laughs> CEO is a teenager now, and uh, we didn't really get an answer out of him. So. <laughs> All right. No, I think it, it drives pretty well, and uh, I think I better write Randy a check. I think you're right. So, all right. Well, uh, what's the date today? Today is the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd. Hold on. This is the original owner's manual that comes with the car. It is. You need to have. <laughs> yeah, we'll find it a good home. Uh, 60 minutes won't be calling you on this one, but <laughs> we'll do one.
So we're back here at the Midwest shop and we're going to get this thing racked and up in the air and show you guys the underside. Come on in here. We'll check out the underside. This car has, like we mentioned, been definitely been undercoated, but the undercoating and the frame seem to be really well preserved because of it. So I'm just going to do a quick pan of this underside. All the way up to the front, looks nice and undercoated. You can kind of see some caliper repair we did here. And like I said, this has had quite a bit of maintenance. That's just a quick walk around the underside. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.